Joan Miro was a lifelong seeker of new signs that transmitted the richness of their worldviews. Even in his last stage, in the decade of the 70s, he experimented in the field of drawing, revolutionizing the genre. As he himself pointed out, the stroke on the paper of quick execution allowed him to go to the essential. This spontaneity draws attention in the collection of drawings of the 70s that Set Dart has at auction between July 25th and August 3rd. They are drawings that synthesize the great themes of the Catalan artist, the woman as Mother Earth, rooted in the Telurk, in front of the bird and the stars, which symbolize the spiritual. In this way, the Moronian symbology of the mature stage bridges with those mythical gouches that he made in 1940, entitled Constellations, Astral Maps, Women and Birds in Front of the Starry Night, The Finite versus Infinity, Day and Night, Chaos, and Cosmos. In fact, the motifs are repeated over the years, although their forms change. Dogs, also present in the drawings of maturity, remind us of their early versions of dogs howling at the moon, always the poetic tension between the animal and cosmic attraction. Miro was formed in Barcelona, where in Gali Academy came in contact with the avant-garde circles of the city. In 1918, he made his first exhibition in the Dalmu Galleries. In 1920, he moved to Paris and met Picasso, Raynal, Max Jacob, Zara, and André Masson. From then on, his style matures, transposing surrealistic poetry to the visual, based on memory, fantasy, and the irrational. Its evolution leads to ethereal works, in which forms and organic figures are reduced to dots, lines, and spots of color. In 1924, he signed the first surrealistic manifesto, although the evolution of his work, too complex, does not allow to be ascribed to any orthodoxy. In 1928, the Museum of Modern Art of New York acquires two works of his. From the 1930s onwards, he became one of the most outstanding figures on the international scene. He returns to Spain in 1941, and that same year, the Museum of Modern Art of New York dedicates a retrospective that will suppose his definitive consecration. From 1956 until his death in 1983, he resides in Palma de Mallorca in a sort of interior exile while his international fame grows. Throughout its life, it received numerous here. prizes, like the prizes of the working. Biennial of Venice of 1954 and of the Guggenheim Foundation in 1959 the Carnegie of Painting in 1966, the Gold Medals of the General Etat of Catalonia, 1978, and of the Fine Arts, 1980, and was named Dr. Honoris Causa by the universities of Harvard and Barcelona. At present, its production can be seen in the Joan Miro Foundation of Barcelona, inaugurated in 1975 as well as in the main contemporary art museums around the world, such as Tyson Bornemiza, MoMA, New York, Reina Sofia Museum, Madrid, the National Gallery of Washington, the MNAM of Paris, or the Albright Knox Art Gallery of Buffalo.